I don't think that's right at all. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I guess this is part two of the diagnosis and um, what was going on with this D2. So just to uh, connect in with a power flash now and run some diagnostics, turn off the radio and uh, we'll go for a road test. So in short, what was wrong with this? Well, it had a problem with the fuel system. We kind of knew it from the logs. Wastegate duty was at max, boost pressure was low, exhaust gas speed kind of drives the turbo, so potentially a fueling issue with a remap on there. Um, so yeah, fuel um, the fuel pickup in the tank was blocked. So that was what the problem with that is today. So anyway, customers back with the vehicle and uh, we've, uh, we've, we've figured that out. New fuel filter on the car as well. Uh, an ITG air filter in the, uh, in the in the standard air box and we've gone with a Cirque intercooler as well today. I've just fitted that. So we flashed the map on the car and we're about to uh, go for a road test and just log some data. Right, let's go for a road test. We've got the, uh, the power flash is logging. And let's see if we can make our boost target as well. So... If you did watch, if you didn't watch part one, watch part one. Uh, this is obviously part two. And uh, yeah, problem with the fuel system. The uh, pickup was blocked. Long and short of it. But, uh, if I've not already said, it's had a uh, fresh fuel filter. Air filter as well. And just fitted circuit intercooler and we've gone stage two mapping on this as well still got the cat as well emissions controls still in place um, it's okay at the moment really good lovely day 23 22 23 degrees nice and bright out Feels pretty good. Will it make the boost pressure? I do need to get some temperature into this because it's still still pretty cold, 60, 60 something degrees. On target for boost. I think we've got a fix. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's better. Again, auto discos always sound like they're revving to the moon. I uh, had, a, had a good chat with a customer who owns this one earlier this morning, and uh, nice chap. Uh, decent conversation with him actually about the vehicle and what he plans to do with it in the future. Uh, going with a V8 torque converter, so what is known as the uprated uh, torque converter, so it doesn't slip so much. Engine feels more responsive. Some people do report better fuel economy with that as well. And uh, yeah, just nicer to drive. A bit more, the gear change is a bit more, I would say shunty, but it's not. It doesn't shunt, but it, you can feel the gear changes more than you can with a stock torque converter. So we'll pull over in a bit and I'll have a look at the log. But the data that I see on the manifold pressure was good. No wastegate duty. Wasn't through the roof. <laughs> so, yeah, doing all right. Point three five bar peak. Yeah. So yeah, the stage two, the alive stage two, 
Uh, we're keeping the, the cap and the emissions controls in place. Um, so a circuit intercooler and in this case an ITG panel filter as well. Um, we're around 180 horsepower and uh, just over the 400 or just around the 400 newton meters of torque mark. Bearing in mind that these make 300 newton meters of torque when they're standard. So let's give this a little squirt out the roundabout. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> going well definitely go, going very well actually um, making the boost target as well of course and uh, I mean I'm using the most gentle amount of throttle um, just slowed down a little bit we're doing 55 now so yeah going well responding well we've got a fix with the car and uh, I guess what's what are we doing in the workshop? What's the big thing that's going on at the minute? Well, the guy, well, we're all kind of getting ready for the Billing Land Rover show. Whether this video comes out before or after the show, do we release this video while we're at the show? I don't know. I'll be there. So if this does come out before, then come over and say hello. Got a question about any of the videos or any of the uh, bits and pieces we do? I'll be happy to uh, speak with you about that. Any questions? Yeah. And uh, I'm also going to be vlogging the show as well. So you might just see your own vehicle on there. And if you, uh, if you fancy chatting, we might be uh, talking to a few people about their vehicles as well. I'm not losing any speed up this big hill, that's for sure. Good. I have to back off, otherwise I'll end up having to overtake somebody up here. And it goes into single carriage now. Right, so that brings us to the end of this one, short and sweet. Fixed a car in short and uh, ready for the next job. So thanks for watching. Remember, if you like these videos, like, subscribe, share them with your friends, and. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one if I don't see you at the billing show. Bye-bye.